us coming in. The government has just come out with a circular detailing out the contours as far as the recap bond issue for PSU banks are concerned. Lata Venkatesh joins us now with more details. Lata? Uh, well, uh, the important part is the features are uh, something that will be... Uh, will not be inimical either to the government of India securities market, the bond market, or to banking stocks. They're extremely well designed. And let me tell you the key features of the bonds. They have been uh, uh, issued in six lots. Remember, they are 80,000 crore in total. They are being issued in six uh, lots. Uh, there are 10-year bonds, 11-year, 12-year, 13-year, 14-year, and 15-year bonds. Now, what is the interest rate? say for instance on the 10 year it is exactly the interest that the current 10 year bond which closed for trading a few minutes back rules so it is 7.35 percent that's where the 7.17 uh, 10 year bond closed today so they have actually mirrored the uh, interest rate along with the current yield curve so that you know they allowed the market to dictate the term the government of india is not issuing you know lower interest rate and thereby rewarding itself they have stayed with the market rate but uh, the uh, good news for the market will be these are non transferable bonds they were just locked in in the uh, banks lockers which is good because if there's too much of a supply prices of bonds will fall you know too much supply means prices fall so the bankers always wanted them to be non transferable they are non transferable a third feature is uh, will they be have to be marked to market? That is, if the price of the bond falls in the market, then do you have to mark the price down? You don't have to do that because these are these can be maintained in what is called the HTM category. That is held to maturity. Because you're going to hold it to maturity, you don't have to mark it to market. You know, if the prices may rise or fall, you're anyway not going to trade in them. So this is a category called HTM and they will be held under HTM. Normally, the government of India rules are, the RBI rules are, that of all the bonds, of all the deposits you have, uh, banks can put only 19.5% of their deposits in HTM bonds. But that limit will not apply to this. You can keep that HTM limit for other government of India bonds, but this uh, set of bonds over and above that can be held under HTM. So for both bankers and for the bond market, this will be non-disruptive. The bond markets are not going to be upset and the bank shares my sense is, if anything, will rise tomorrow because there was this nagging fear among the bankers that these will not be put as HTM. But fortunately, they have come in as HTM. So uh, for bankers, it will be a relief because every year and you don't have to worry that, oh, bond prices have fallen. I have to provide for the difference, uh, the mark to market difference. So, you know, from any which way you look at it, it appears that uh, uh, bankers and uh, bond dealers will have to be happy with the features of the recap bonds that have been announced today.